Hey there, it's Davy Maisha of Central Energy Alchemy, and I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about sex magic. Yes, sex magic is all the rage these days. Lots of people talking about how you can manifest using your sexual energy, but the question then becomes, well, what does that mean exactly? How do I change, create my life using sex and does this mean sexual intercourse and what do you mean when you say magic so i'm going to break it down a little bit for you guys just for you to have a better understanding of what most of us are saying when we speak about sex magic so magic is the ability to transmute to manipulate to change something to alchemize it right to take it from one form into another most of us know of magic when we think of magic tricks or things like that we're not talking about tricks but the basic idea is the same you're taking one thing and you're transforming it or transmuting it as i said into another sex sex is the union of two parts uh, generally polar opposites, masculine, feminine, uh, the light, the dark, uh, pol the opposites of the universe coming together to create something new. And generally we understand sex to be sexual intercourse, which is the coming together of the egg and the sperm, and it is creating a brand new life. So when you take that activity, the egg and the sperm or the bringing together of the energies to create new life and you combine it with transmutation then you have what we call sex magic now sex magic can be done with a partner or it can also be done solo it does not necessarily have to happen through intercourse that's just one of the ways that you can begin to create and manifest using the activity of sex now, one of the reasons sex magic is so powerful is because during sex, our brains are, are the, the way our brains function changes. So uh, during sex, we're not logical. We're not thinking. At least we shouldn't be because we should be enjoying the act of sex. So we're generally not in a thinking mode, which allows for us to be in a, in a trance-like or hypnotic state. So that leaves us open to suggestion. Now, if you take the idea of us being open to suggestion and you infuse that with uh, the idea of manifesting something, you can begin to see how sex magic can operate. It's also what can be called kind of sympathetic magic as we call it in the witchy world um, where you're kind of taking this activity and using it um, in a symbolic way to symbolize something happening right so in the idea of sex magic you're taking the activity of sex or the orgasmic energy and you're using it to symbolize creating something new in your life now you may not be creating new life as in a baby but you could be creating new job opportunities or new wealth or new relationships and new love so the way again sex magic works is that during sex you're brain your ego that portion kind of shuts down and it's not in effect so your logical mind isn't working which is probably the reason why some of us end up having sex with people that we don't want to because it feels really good and we stop thinking that happens right and so during that time that's the time when you're open to new ideas without your ego saying no that's not going to work no we can't do that uh, so that's a perfect time to actually infuse into your brain the very thing that you want. If you do it often enough, it becomes part of your subconscious makeup without you even thinking about it. So if during orgasm you're saying the things that you'd like to have happen, it becomes part of the way your brain thinks. And then you will begin to act and be in the way which will manifest those um, those items or that love or that relationship coming to you. Now, there's another side to sex magic and the fact that and manifestation is becoming a really old word. Um, but in the way of creating, right, and of, of creation, in order to create, you have to kind of you have to clear the field. Right. So if you're still hung up on things, if you're um, 
if you're still dealing with past pain, if, um, well, let's just take relationships, for example. If you say you'd like a relationship, right, um, but you think that all women are manipulative and all men are dogs, then no matter how much sex magic you use to bring your love to you, it's probably not going to work because you've got two competing forces, right? You have this idea or belief that men or women are this way while you're still trying to infuse this belief that you want to find love and it kind of cancels each other out. The same thing with wealth. It's difficult to manifest wealth if somewhere in the recesses of your brain or within yourself, you really think that a wealth creation is not possible for you or that you're supposed to be poor or that these things just don't work out for you. It doesn't matter how much sex magic you try to use, it's most likely not going to work because it's going to cancel each other out. So in order for sex magic to work effectively, there's two parts to it. You have to first clear out the beliefs that are holding you back from actually believing what you're going to plant. And then you plant the seeds. I always liken it to the same way that a farmer clears the field first before planting seeds. You don't just throw the seeds in on old dirt. You have to, you know, turn the soil, make sure it's good, make sure it's fresh, make sure it's new, make sure it can hold the seeds, right? Make sure it has been fertilized correctly and watered so that when the seed is planted, it grows. That's the same thing that you have to do with your mind. You have to clear out the weeds first and then you plant the seeds. So if you've ever been trying to manifest something and it's not working, then you might need to take a look at your, your field and maybe it needs to be, you know, turned over, fertilized, you know, clear the weeds out type of thing. Sex magic is extremely effective. Sex is the closest, the highest. It is the union that brings us closest to that which has created everything. It is the way that we, we create whole new human beings that come into this world. And, and that creative power, that same creative power can be used to create anything that you want, anything that you can possibly desire once you clear your field and once you have the proper seeds to plant. So asking for a million dollars is not really the best seed to plant, right? Especially if somewhere in the recesses of your brain, you don't necessarily believe that you can actually have a million dollars. It's again, probably not going to work. So sex magic is a fun thing, but there's also a science to it. And there's a way to go about doing it for maximum effect so that it actually happens. I have used it in my life and it works. I have shown other women how to use it in their life and it works. Sex magic works a little bit differently for men, which is why I generally teach it to women because we are the ones who, just as we carry babies, we are the ones who can really take it to another level and, and just and make it rock. And just really rock it out. It doesn't mean that men can't do it. It's just, we can make it rock. So on March 20th, along with uh, some deeper oral sex techniques and ways to connect with your man and ways to understand men and, and not have to guesswork into what it is that they're thinking. One of the other things that we're gonna be getting into is sex magic and how to effectively use sex magic, whether you're with a partner or whether you're doing it solo, because either way, it works. And I'm going to show you some tools that you can use and start using immediately so that you can really begin to create the life that you want to have. Because that's what we're here to do. We're here to create the lives that we want. That's why we're here, to live in pleasure. So if you're ready to sign up, if you're ready to do this, you want to head over to bit.ly forward slash forward slash headmistress2019. The link will be in the description and you can sign up for the class. It's two hours live March 20th. If you can't make it, don't worry. Everyone who signs up will receive a recording of the class. So you're not going to miss it if you can't make it. I hope to see you in class March 20th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.